see all of you who are here and I want to welcome you and hope that you are blessed. I have been blessed working with these students and it was a new experience for me and so uh, I had a lot of fun so I hope you enjoy it as well. May you please bow your heads with me in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this night that we can do this program. Please help us to do well and please help us to be blessed and thank you that we get to do this program. Amen. Amen. Please join us in singing hymn number 135, A Little Town of Bethlehem.
for you are always in our minds and hearts, even when miles separate us. Our Christmas gifts to you will arrive in the mail. Yay! But the best gift we can give you cannot be delivered by the post office. What? It is our gift of love to you, just as Christmas celebrates the best gift of all, God's love to us through the birth of Jesus. As you enjoy all the Christmas surprises, always keep God's gift centered in your heart. For that is the most important and precious gift you will receive. All our love, Grandma and Grandpa. Well, I am <coughs> glad that Grandma let you know why she couldn't come. And also what Christmas means to her. Letters are a wonderful way to show our thoughts and share our needs. Let's write a letter to Grandma after Christmas and tell her all the things that happened here during the holiday. Good idea. <coughs> what if we write letters and find out all the things that happened when Jesus was born? The Bible tells us what happened. I mean, like how the shepherds felt when the angel said, Glory to God in the highest. That would be really interesting. We could write to Joseph and Mary.
as God's son. Were you worried what the people would say? Were you afraid to travel to Bethlehem to register for the attack so close to Jesus' birth? Love, Hunter. Dear Hunter, when the angel appeared to me, I was frightened, but he quickly told me not to be afraid. When I learned that I was to be the mother of God's son, I could not believe it. I was unmarried. I was not a special person. I didn't even understand why I was chosen. I didn't even have time to think about what people say or what Joseph would say. All I knew was that I was chosen by God, and I praised him and thanked him for the opportunity to serve him. It was very hard to tell Peter. The trip was so long, it took days to get there. Joseph tried to make the trip easier by placing me on the donkey, but I was very uncomfortable because the baby was to be born very soon. We were discouraged when we got to Bethlehem and couldn't find a place to stay. A kind innkeeper let us use a stable, and that is where Jesus was born, signed Mary. <laughs> Many, many people came to Bethlehem. 
we were not prepared to house so many travelers to our village. As it was, all the innkeepers of the city used every available space. Even the townspeople opened their homes to distant relatives, but there was not enough room. On that night, when I looked at the couple at my door, I knew that they must have a place to stay. The baby was to be born very soon, and so I thought of the best place I could. Our stable was attached to the inn, as they usually were, and it received work from the inn, as well as from the animals housed there. I thought that clean hand warmth was better than no place at all. Although, if I had known who was being born there, I would have given them my own bed. The stable was not a place for the sick <coughs> to be born. Signed, the innkeeper. Yeah. 
Jesus. You know you can't walk or talk to him. But if you wonder how you felt when you came to earth, you were a God's son. But you were born to a young woman here on earth. We wonder how you feel knowing you are our Savior. You were sinners, but you were pain and sorrow and disappointment. God, our sins can be forgiven. May I have something in? Yes. Here you are in a lowly stable, surrounded by hay and animals, when you should be in a cradle, in a palace, because you are a king. We thank you, Jesus, for being born, for loving us, and for giving your life so that we may also live eternally. Love, Sarah, and Hunter.
believe there is a goodie bag for you. So uh, make sure you stop at the 